The scatter plot above shows counts of Florida manatees, a type of sea mammal from 1991 to 2011. Based on the line of best fit to the, date, to the data shown, which of the following values is closest to the average yearly increase in the number of manatees? We want the average yearly increase in the number of manatees. In other words, it's the change in the manatees over the change in, we'll call it T, or time, years. Notice this is just the slope. This is just the change in the Y coordinate over the change in the X coordinate. Slope. So what we need to do is look at this line of best fit, find two points, calculate the slope, and we should get something pretty close to one of these choices. So let's use this point. This looks to me to be about the point 1990, 1000. So in 1990, there were 1000. And let's use this point, 1995. This is approximately, let's see, 1200, 1400, 600, 1800 manatees. So in 1995, we had 1800 manatees. And now we'll go ahead and find the slope. So we're going to do the change in the manatees, which is 1800 minus 1000, over the change in the years, which was 1995 minus. 1990. This gives us 800 over 5. And we'll find that out. Get 160. And that is closest to C. And C is going to be our answer. So we didn't get it exactly. That's because we had to estimate off of the graph. But as long as we're pretty good with our estimations, we should get something that's close enough. And we do. Answer is C. Another question about best fit lines. So again, the trend seems to be best fit lines and working with them and understanding them in terms of scatter plots is going to be a pretty big topic on this test. So again, if you're not familiar with it, might want to work on it. This question though, similar to the one we just did, you have to know how to create uh, the equation of a line, or at least in this case, find the slope. And similar to a question we looked at before, you have to understand how the slope relates to a real quantity. In this case, how the slope represents the change in manate manatees uh, for every year, every change in years, basically. So again, it's combining all these skills, taking a real life example, putting it onto the skeleton of abstract math, but still knowing, and then still knowing how to find your answer, uh, looking, you know, given what you have, and then going for what you're looking for. In other words, starting with this real life stuff, finding a real life answer, but doing it through the conduit of uh, linear equations and math.